Alrighty, since a bunch of you guys have been asking me for months that I do a quick video on how to install Reshade and use it with programs like Dolphin, I've decided to do just that. Before we get down to the nitty gritty, if I may be so bold as to ask everyone watching this video to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. I spend time making this content and it's just a nice way for you all to tell me that I'm doing a good job. Now, there are many programs in which Reshade works with and some of which it doesn't, or at the very least is very finicky. So be sure to make Mr. Miyagi proud and use that Google foo to find out if Reshade works with the program that you want. So what you'll need to do is go to Reshade's website here. Very easy to remember, reshade.me. You come to their homepage right here. So what you want to do, click that nice purple download button. Take you all the way down to the bottom of the page. Do not click start now, do not click download, this is an advertisement. So go right past that and go to the green download button below. Now, there's a guide for newcomers I highly recommend that you read. There's also a quick start, run setup tool, follow instructions, close setup tool, start game, profit. We're gonna go over that in this video. Now, I've already downloaded it, so pretend I hit download, download it to a folder that you want, whatever. Now, be sure to also go to See if I remember what this is. Yep, there it is. DolphinMU.org. All right. Click download Dolphin 5.0-8909 at the time of this video. It'll be different uh, later on. This is the main or mass or um, actually, this is the these are the development versions. This is the newest version that you can get that's somewhat stable. Um, do not get the nightly versions. Just get one of these. It'll work perfectly fine. You download the Windows 64 version, um, the 64-bit version. You're not going to download Mac OS. You're not going to download Android. All right, so once you have those downloaded. All right, so I've already got everything set up. I've got my Dolphin extracted here. I've got my shaders in here. I've got my reshade set up here. Ignore these two. These are just... There you go. We're gonna double click on this. This is what you're gonna see. It's gonna ask you to select a game. You're gonna select it. You're gonna go, I already opened it for some reason. Um, Dolphin 64, whatever you name the folder to. Then you're gonna double click on Dolphin. Now, it's going to ask you what to select. Do not select DirectX 9. Do not select DirectX 10 or 10 plus. You wanna select OpenGL. Now, it's gonna come up and say, uh, do you want to download a collection of standard effects? Yes. You do not want to do this all manually. It does this for you. Just let it do it. Hit yes. It's going to download everything. Now, you don't need all these effects. Particularly, a lot of people won't use the ASCII effect. Just hit OK. Let it go into it. Let it do whatever it needs to do. Now, up here is going to be the, your only indication that it succeeded. Other than edit reshade settings, it'll say succeeded. I've never seen it fail unless you don't have ownership of the directory or whatever. It gets really weird. So usually running it as administrator uh, with administrator privileges, sorry, and that will usually solve the problem. We're going to exit out of here. Now we're going to double check. There you go. And how you'll know Reshade is installed is you'll see Reshade Shaders, the folder here. You can go in there. I mean, it's just whole bunch of effects files and everything like that. You don't need to mess around with any of this. Um, you've got your OpenGL 32.dll, your dynamic link library, and then you've got Reshade. All right, that's how you know it's installed properly. It should be in the root folder with the executable that you're trying to run. Now, we're gonna load up Dolphin real quick. We're not gonna really start any games yet, but we're going to uh, load this up real quick. Now we're gonna go into the graphics settings, all right? 
you could go in here. Now, I've already selected for me because I did this kind of preemptively before. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to select your back end, select OpenGL. All right. Did you, OpenGL is the only back end where I've had it 100% compatibility. DirectX 9, DirectX 10. Uh, we, actually, uh, Dolphin doesn't even support DirectX 9 anymore. But DirectX 10 and 11, I, I have issues like Wind Waker I had some issues with and stuff like that. So I just use OpenGL. It runs pretty nice. Go uh, When you're done with that, if you have to, select your adapter. I only have one adapter, uh, graphics adapter. So enhancements. All right. So I would recommend that you always go two times native if you can. It makes a difference. All right. If you can't do that and you have to do native, to be honest, you probably shouldn't be running reshade unless you're just doing the color correction. All right, because all the other settings are just going to slow you down even more. But I recommend at least running two times native because that's where you're going to see uh, a nice crisper image. Uh, textures are going to be clear because you're going to have a, 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 I would put it as a, for people who don't understand how resolution works. A, just a, a bigger window into the game world now we have uh, <clears throat> I, I'd never really touch anti-aliasing because I run all my games at four times native I don't have an issue with it a lot of people can't it's fine um, but you don't really need this but some people like running it and it just gets rid of the jaggies um, and it's the tropic filtering all it does is this just makes it low it just changes the filtering on your textures that's all i'd recommend that you set this as an eight times but at the very least but i i run mine at a 16 times uh post-processing effects you can mess around with these some of these are kind of cool they're pretty fun to mess around with um you can configure some of them and you can also make your own so you can actually run shaders inside of dolphin array without having to use reshade you just need to know a little bit around uh, how to do so. And I'm sure that there's uh, guides online on how to do this. So those are all the things that we need to change. We're going to hit close. Now we're going to open. I have this right here. We're going to be using Monster Hunter Try. But before we do that, actually go back I'm gonna go back here and this is where your any files come in handy all right I'm gonna open these up this is from my old uh, retexturing of monster hunter try I'll provide the link in the description if you guys want to check that out uh, I'm gonna copy the fantasy preset because I, I enjoy it a little more color and we're just gonna paste it right in there right where reshade is right where the executable is and the DLL is it's all going in the same place it should all go in the root system or the root folder and this goes for dolphin this would go for doom the new doom not the old doom um, it goes for pretty much any program that you're trying to run so we're gonna relaunch dolphin we're gonna hit open we're gonna load up monster hunter try now should see loading some uh however many effects remaining it might take a while it's because every once in a while you'll get errors compiling some shaders it happens all right so i don't know if i have this fully set up i probably don't oh it looks like it does cool all right so what we're going to do here is we are actually going to start this movie real quick so you guys can see a difference We're going to hit Shift F2. We're going to highly recommend you change that Shift F2 to something else. Um, I'll show you in a second. What you're going to do is, see this tutorial, hit Continue, hit Plus, hit type in Test, whatever you want, hit Enter, hit Continue, hit Finish. If you want, you can go through, read it again. Um, if you accidentally skip through it or you want to get right to this but you want to read it later, Go to settings, and you can hit restart tutorial right here. So we're going to go back to home, and then we're going to change from test. I have two tests in here now. Um, 
and we're gonna select my monster hunter try fantasy.ini select that you should notice that colors get a little or a lot more vibrant this is my fantasy selection I also have a classic changes the colors a little bit differently but anyways go to settings you can change your overlay Kate through uh, shift F2 or you can change it to shift F3 whatever your numpad keys are you can, there's a reload key which will reload the effects there's a toggle key so you can toggle them on and off real quick that's really nice if you're doing a lot of testing like I do um, the big thing is if you are done with this and you are not going to change any of the settings uh, I highly recommend you change the usage mode from configuration to performance especially if you are running a very heavy shader all right a, a collection of shaders I should say so basically that's about it you use the same thing for any other program or anything that supports reshade um, that's pretty much it guys if you like the content uh, hit the thumbs up if you uh, if it helps you hit thumbs up you know subscribe see more content really helps me guys helps me know that I'm doing a good job for you guys and uh, that's about it so I will see you guys in the next video and cut